Hey guys, welcome back. So I just got home from work and I am getting ready to cook dinner and thought I would go ahead and do a cook with me tonight. So tonight I'm doing one of the recipes that I did in my uh, dinner prep on Sunday. This is the blue cheese buffalo turkey meatballs with ranch cauliflower. I'm actually eating a little bit lighter tonight, I'm not having a starch or carb with it uh, because Thursdays are my weigh-in day. So I like to try and eat a little bit light on Wednesday nights. So I don't do anything real heavy. So I hope you'll join me with this cook along. And um, this recipe is actually from homechef.com. It is um, one of the meals, if you get the Home Chef delivery service, they um, will deliver, this is one of their meals that they deliver. I don't get the service, uh, but I do look at their, uh, I get a lot of recipes from their website, so I just kind of tweak them. So if you're new to my channel, I hope that you like this video, and I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload new content. And welcome, my name is Christy, and I am planning us healthy. So if you remember, I went ahead and got my uh, dinners already packaged out in the bags. So uh, for this recipe, you will need, there were a couple things I didn't put in the bag. So for this one, you're going to need um, one ounce of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. You are going to need half, a little over half an ounce of light butter. You will also need two green onions, 12 ounces of ground turkey breast, and this is actual ground turkey breast, so this one is zero points. You will also need about 12 ounces of cauliflower florets. You will also need two ounces of sour cream and one teaspoon of powdered ranch seasoning. Um, so I've split that into these little containers so that my husband has one and I have one. So in these containers is one ounce of sour cream and half a teaspoon of the powdered ranch dressing. And then you will also need one ounce of blue cheese. I use the blue cheese crumbles. So the first thing I am going to do is wash my cauliflower. We're going to go ahead and wash our green onion. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut those up. And then the first thing we're going to do is just try and get just the white portion. I got a little bit of the green and then cut that up first. And we want to keep that separate from the rest of it. And we're just going to go ahead and slice the rest of the green onion. The next thing you would do, which I've already done on my prep day, but the if you haven't already done it, you're gonna go ahead and mix your sour cream with um, the powdered ranch dressing. Um, and again, you don't have to separate them like I did. You can put them all together and then just, sep I just separated that for convenience. The next thing we're going to do is line our baking sheet with aluminum foil. And we're gonna spray it with olive oil spray. Uh, now the recipe actually calls for two teaspoons of olive oil and to mix the cauliflower or to drizzle that over the cauliflower. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to spray my pan and I'll just kind of mix it up on the pan. And then we're just going to spread that. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these just to get them into a little bit more bite-sized pieces. All right, and we're gonna put some salt and pepper on. And those are gonna bake in a preheated 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Uh, about 20 minutes or until they're tender. So we are going to put the turkey um, and if you watched my uh, prep on Sunday, you saw that it calls for 12 ounces, but I went ahead and used 16 ounces. Since it is zero points, uh, I'm just using the whole thing. So we are going to combine the turkey 
our one ounce of blue cheese, the white portions of the green onion, and a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to just go ahead and mix that up. I usually start it with a spoon or something and then I end up use, using my hands after. This is going to be very sticky on your hands. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is weigh this because we're going to put this into eight portions and I want to make sure that my portions are even. So I'm going to weigh it in grams. All right, so it's about 484 grams. So I'm just going to say 480 to account for some. So it's going to be, I'm going to want 60 grams per meatball. Right, now we're just going to go ahead and roll them. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is spray our pan with olive oil spray. And again, this recipe calls for two teaspoons of olive oil, but I'm just gonna spray the pan. Okay, so I've got our pan heated. I'm gonna cook these over medium heat. And they're gonna take probably about uh, 12 to 14 minutes. All right guys, I went ahead and split these in half because it seemed like the outside was cooking a lot quicker than the inside. So it's really not a big deal though because those are pretty big meatballs and they're still good size. So I'm all about the visual uh, on my plate. This is gonna look like a lot of food on my plate this way. So I think the next time I may just go ahead and make it into the 16 total. Uh, instead of eight total um, and I'm just keeping them separate yet yeah, now they're really brown I'm just keeping them separated so that I don't mess up the weight of them so because I've had I had them when I cut them in half after the 14 minutes they were still a little bit red inside um, just a little bit pink and I like my turkey all the way cooked through so now they look like they are about done I have actually six tenths of an ounce of light butter. I don't know where they got that amount from, but I'm going to put that amount in. And then you can use anywhere up to one ounce of hot sauce. So depending on how much hot sauce you like, we like our uh, we like a lot of heat in our food. So I'm going to go ahead and use the whole teaspoon for us. And we're going to go ahead and turn that off and take it off of the burner. So we're just gonna stir that up and let those just kind of sit in the hot sauce for a minute. So while those sit, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cauliflower out and get that plated. Just split the cauliflower between our dishes. Again, this recipe is for two portions. So now we're just gonna add the sour cream mixture. It smells good. Yeah. So that is what it looks like when it's all plated. I've got the cauliflower topped with the sour cream mixture and then we just garnished it with the green onions. And again, this was for two servings. So I'll let you know how it tastes. All right, you guys, we just got done eating and that was fabulous. We both loved that meal so much. I actually thought about making some mashed potatoes with it um, because I figured my husband would probably want a carb with his and he was so happy that I didn't. He, We don't really eat cauliflower a whole lot, especially kind of plain like that, although we did have the sauce, but that sauce is what made it. That sour cream with the uh, ranch dressing mix was so good on that. I mean, he was even saying that he wouldn't mind having that in place of potatoes sometimes now. We're not ones that like the 
fakes in it, you know how you substitute cauliflower like you make cauliflower rice and that I've tried it before and I just don't like it so I just choose to have potatoes but the cauliflower with it this was really good tonight um, and then for five points that whole plate was just five points the way that I made it because I made it with the ground turkey breast which is zero um, so I would definitely recommend trying that the only thing is because it's ground turkey breast that is a little bit more dry the the meatballs were a little bit dry um, for us, uh, but the flavor was so good that I didn't mind it being dry. So I'm definitely going to have to try and come up with something to um, add to it so that it maybe isn't so dry next time. So I'm definitely keeping that one on our menu for the future. And um, again, if you don't like the heat, if you don't like the hot sauce, you could use less or not even not use any. I don't know how the meatballs would taste without the hot sauce though, because they, I mean, as you saw what I put in, it's not a lot that goes in there. So the majority of the flavor is from the hot sauce and butter. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and put the comment and let me know what you thought. I will see you in my next video. I am Christy and I am planning us healthy.